So Mr. Mark Zuckerberg and Meta AI have a new announcement about superintelligence. Let's talk about what it actually means. But first, here's Mark explaining his vision for the future of personal superintelligence for everyone. All right, you ready? Hey, everyone. I want to talk about our new effort, Meta Superintelligence Labs, and our vision to build personal superintelligence for everyone. AI keeps accelerating, and over the past few months, we've begun to see glimpses of AI systems improving themselves. So developing superintelligence is now in sight. But there's this big open question about what we should direct superintelligence towards. A lot has been written about the scientific and economic advances that AI can bring, and I'm really optimistic about this. But I think an even more meaningful impact in our lives is going to come from everyone having a personal superintelligence that helps you achieve your goals, create what you want to see in the world, be a better friend, and grow to become the person that you aspire to be. This vision is different from others in the industry who want to direct AI at automating all of the valuable work. At Meta, we believe in putting the power of superintelligence in people's hands to direct it towards what they value in their own lives. Some of this will be about improving productivity, but a lot of it may be more personal in nature. This is going to be a new era in some ways, but in others, it's just a continuation of historical trends. About 200 years ago, 90% of people were farmers growing food to survive. Today, fewer than 2% grow all of our food. Advances in technology have freed much of humanity to focus less on subsistence and more on the pursuits that we choose. And at each step along the way, most people have decided to use their newfound productivity to spend more time on creativity, culture, relationships, and just enjoying life. And I expect superintelligence to accelerate this trend even more. The intersection of technology and culture is where Meta focuses, and this will only become more important over time. If trends continue, I expect that people will spend less time on productivity software and more time creating and connecting. I think that personal devices like glasses that can see what we see, hear what we hear, and interact with us throughout the day are going to become our main computing devices. I believe deeply in building personal superintelligence for everyone. And at Meta, we have the resources to build the massive infrastructure required and the ability to deliver new technology to billions of people. I'm excited to build this future, and we've got a lot more to come soon. So here's the blog post that they've published. It's called Personal Superintelligence. And there's a few important things to note here. First and foremost, they're saying that over the last few months, we have begun to see glimpses of our AI systems improving themselves. The improvement is slow for now, but undeniable. Developing superintelligence is now in sight. Certainly, we've seen a number of papers published that seem to show that we're in the early stages of AI self-improvement. We see AI models contributing to innovation of machine learning. So Mark is saying that AI will improve all our existing systems and enable the creation and discovery of new things that are not imaginable today. So there's a lot written here about the positive and negative potential for AI. I'll link this down below if you want to check it out. But here he spells out his vision, which is to put this power of superintelligence in people's hands to direct it towards what they value in their own lives. This is distinct from others in the industry who believe superintelligence should be directed centrally towards automating all valuable work. And then humanity will live on a dole of its output. So a lot of this is talking about giving us, the everyday user, the power of AI to be our personal assistants and personal devices like glasses that we're going to wear. They're going to see what we see, hear what we hear, and interact with us throughout the day. They will be our primary computing devices. Certainly that's seen as the future by a lot of different people. Google DeepMind. For example, at Google, Sergey Brin recently talked about potentially the, the glasses coming back. They have a few of them in the works, various glasses and goggles and eyewear that's going to be able to do augmented reality or at least be a, a voice assistant in our ear or something that's going to have like a video feed, depending on what kind of a level of surveillance you want. And of course, this has mixed reactions. Some people hate it. Some people are kind of looking forward to it. Certainly, I can see some good use cases, but I'll probably be pretty paranoid every time I'm out in public and I see another person wearing glasses. Here's the thing that really is, I think, the key 
to this post. There are a lot of risks and Meta will be careful about mitigating these risks and careful about what we choose to open source. This seems like they're going to take a step back from the mission of open source AI and large language models. Meta initially wanted to be the champion of open source. Mark was out there talking quite a bit about why open source is the way to go for AI development. We'll see exactly how this plays out, but this certainly seems like they might be taking a step back from being the open source champion and focusing more on, you know, closed internal models. Now, I believe it was Jan LeCun who was kind of the driver behind that open source movement. He's the one that explained it to Mark Zuckerberg why it's such a big deal. He's the one that kind of pushed the company in that direction. But now we have a new chief scientist. So Xin Jia Zhao will be the new chief scientist of Meta Superintelligent Labs. Jan is still there at the company, but it's probably likely we kind of believe that this is going to be the new big focus for Meta. Zuck shelled out billions of dollars to acquire the best talent in town, poaching from, you know, OpenAI, even getting some AI researchers from Apple, acquiring Scala AI, trying to acquire Ilya Sutskever's company, SSI. And it seems like with all that, they're setting a new direction and a new priorities headed by this new chief scientist. And part of it has to do with how well the Chinese open source models are doing. We've seen a barrage of them coming out. They're great. They're open source and they're extremely competitive. So for Mark to try to compete with those open source models also does seem like a losing proposition because it seems like now every week a new great new open source model rolls out. So what do you think about this new direction for Meta? Do you think the new changes that they're making, the large amounts of capital that are being used here, are they going to be what wins the war for Meta? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.